So I finally got the clearance to try Leonardo AI. This is a very fantastic AI tool that you can use to generate images and even deal with 3D objects. So I'll show you how to use it in detail because right now it's at the trial stage. So only some selected individuals are selected to give it a try. And I was so lucky to have been selected to interact with this tool. You can see now I just received the email. You're one of the first users to gain access to the Leonardo AI content production suite. Uh, we are excited to be ramping up the intake, uh, but first a few quick, quick notes. So this just give me this, any images you generated, any models you've created or you've, you, you, you fine tuned, it's going to be made uh, public. Okay. Data sets are private and expect to see many new features over the next few weeks. So a lot of uh, improvements are going to be coming up in this. And to get started, all I need is just to use this because they have whitelisted my email so I can go ahead and give it a try. And if you want to join the whitelist also, also you can by just coming to leonardo.ai, you will be brought in here. You can see creating stunning game assets with AI. So you can just go ahead and uh, put in your email over here to join the waitlist. And maybe over time you can get uh, selected and you can go ahead and give it a try because it's really, really interesting to try this feature. So once you get selected, you can just create an account. Once you create an account and follow the process, you land over here. So this is the home page. You can see a lot of images that people have generated. And as you hover over any of the image, you will be able to see the kind of prompts they prompted it to be able to receive or to see that image as a result from, from Leonardo AI. So you can just go ahead and check around to see multiple images that this AI has created. You can see them, a lot of them and anyone you just select you can see the the prompt that generated it and you can copy and maybe edit or try to see how you can update it to get something simple or if you want to start your own from scratch also you can go ahead and give it a try but right now you can see these are trending ones you can see new ones that have just been created you can see the new ones uh, you can just browse based on the category okay so you can see new ones these are newly created and you can see top ones you can search by top ones or you can search based on a different category game asset or they are about okay but for now you can check out the community feed also to see what people are working on or what people are creating and you can check out personal feeds to see what you have created like this one now it's my creation i just created this i gave it um, some prompts i need a cart with a school bag and eyeglasses in the garden and it just uh, brought in this and you can see how very very clear the image is a card with the glasses and school bag and it's in the garden very well uh, created so i fall in love with this uh, ai tool even before i fully get into it to try and then you can have training assets in case when you want to try something and but but the main uh, most important and these are fine-tuned models that people have worked on uh, you can check go ahead and check give it a, a try and see what people are currently working on but the main area for you to give it this ai tool a try is the uh, user tools okay so once you are in the user tools you can come to you you have three options you have three options the ai image generation you have the ai canvas and then you have the texture generation these are these are features that you can have access to directly and you can work on on your own so you can let's try the ai image generation tool and you can see the ones i've generated you can just see and then you have the printing area this is where you type what you want to see the ai to generate for you and then you can go ahead and specify what kind of uh, features do you want how many number of images do you want at the result the default is four if you want to in incorporate enable the prompt magic you can go ahead and enable it from here but i think leaving it at default works best the highest quality you can get is 1020 by uh, 1024 by 1024 which you can get this is the highest quality you can get you can go ahead and play around with it as you so wish and then you can adjust the width, width and height as you so wish also if you want to go for the custom made but then you can have the guidance scale over here you can scale it up or down and then you can check out the tilting and control net these are features you can always play around with and you can import your own image also and then give it a try and see how you can prompt the ai to give you some descriptions or to generate some images using the related ones you've imported and you can fix uh, any of the seeds if you want you can just go ahead and just see what and what you can do uh, with this feature but right now i think everything is to be left at default we can just go ahead and create something very simple so that we can just uh, uh, say we want to create the image of 
can you generate the image of a dog in a swimming pool uh, generate the image of a dog in a swimming pool so uh, let's see so let's just give it some time and let's see uh, the image it's going to generate wow you can see the image very very nicely created you can see it has just given us the image and once you hover over any of the image you have a range of features for example you can see different features for example you can download the image if you want or you can make it a uh, full screen you can click on this and you can view it all full screen you can remove the background if you want to remove the background and you can go ahead and you smoothen it over here okay you can smoothen it you can edit the video in canvas if you want and you can see now it's a it's a it's a dog in a swimming pool but then it's using the leonardo style if you want you can click to say don't use the leonardo style and it's going to give you another different image so this is very fantastic and i kind of like it uh, very nicely and you can just go ahead and just see how what which one you want to scale up or which of the features or which of the appearance you like the most for my own case i think i kind of like this one because it pops uh, very clearly you can click on it to see the full picture okay you can see the the full picture this is leonardo style and this is the uh, dog in the swimming pool you can remove the background if you want you can check out and do many many more things you can upscale this if you want and you can go ahead and try other images other number for example like i told you the image the default is four if you want to get more you can just go ahead and, and and see how you can do it but then we can select this and can come all the way to edit in canvas and it's going to bring the image up to this canvas for you you can see it has just brought in the image so you can go ahead you can come to the edges you can uh, zoom it in or out you can select it to the canvas size or if you want you can do many more things with it and then you can come all, all the way to the left over here you can have different kind of features to play around with you can use the pan button over here to pan the image around so you can move it around very easily and then you can zoom in uh, and out you can zoom in and out to fit the screen this is 100 percent you can zoom in accordingly to make it bigger and then you can have the selection tool over here you can use the selection tool to select at any given point if you want to enable snap you can enable snap and you can increase the size of the tool uh, the mouse tool if you want you can increase it and then you have the uh, you have the the draw mask okay you have the draw mask if you click you can be able to use the draw max you can increase the size of the drawing pen okay the mask pen right now you can see it is something very small if you want to increase the diameter you can come over here and increase it also accordingly to increase and you can use it to draw your mask uh, very easily you can see you can mask around this dog if you want to do it purposefully uh, if you want to do it clearly and if you want to get the details clearly then you have to reduce the sizing okay you can reduce the sizing to something much smaller so you'll be able to get the details the angles and everything correctly okay so you can see right now you can move uh, across so you basically have the option to do some basic editing if you want okay so for example this is just to show you how you can you can be able to uh, to move around and, and and put in some some features and if you like you can use the eraser tool okay the eraser tool as well you can increase or decrease the sizing you can erase the mask only area so once you come in it will just be that you will be deleting the mask area all right and if you want to delete the other places also you can just go ahead and come over here if you want to re re remove only the mask only then you can uh, go ahead and select this and then you can reduce remove only the mask area the only the mask area will be Will be removed any other area will not be will not be touched and then you can go ahead and upload an image from your computer okay from previous generations if you've generated from another video or another prompt you can also upload or from a community that you have cited an image that you want you can upload also from from that image and you come over here and you can do some basic editing with it and you can download this one to your pc if you want can easily download it and down here you have the basic prompt based on the image available you can prompt it to give you any kind of uh, a prompt you can just try to play around with it and see what and what you can you can get okay so we can always exit the editor if you are done and then you'll be back here 
So the next one is the AI canvas. You can always click on the AI canvas and you'll be brought in here, just like we've explained. So you can do all of your editing from here. You can upload images, um, you can upload image or you can download, you can work based on the available image. Okay, like we've explained here, this is the canvas. And then the last one is texture generation. You can just come all the way to texture generation. And over here, you have the option to upload an object. Okay, so you can upload a 3D texture, gen um, 3D object. You can you have to upload the object. I have one here, but then you can go ahead and say upload new object, and you can specify. Please import the 3D model uh, on which you want to generate a texture. So you can generate the texture from a 3D model, uh, de depending. But then where you can drag and drop the model, it has to be a .obj file format. It has to be .obj and then you can just go ahead and drag and drop or you can upload directly in my own case i went on to search for some 3d um, images okay let me show you some of them so you can just download just for demonstration purpose i just downloaded one of these because it's free and you can see free 3d images you can download and you can have it in that uh, obj format and you can just you can see so you can just upload uh, you can come to this website you can see quite a lot of them that you can use and just give it a try and see how you can generate textures from the 3d models so you can see one of it the one i have just um, uploaded i have uploaded it and i generated the 3d uh, models from from it so it's very easy and you can go ahead and prompt it directly from here and give it some commands or some prompts on what it should do on the 3d image what you are trying to create it's going to prompt and generate that for you so i think this is just uh, a bit about how to use the leonardo ai feel free to just go ahead and give it a try and um, put in yourself in the line to be selected you can come over here and check the frequently asked questions or the some some basic settings if you want or if you want to if you're interested in joining the discord you want to follow them on twitter you can come all the way down here and you can follow them directly so these are some of the key basic features that you can just uh, adjust from here and the api keys in case if you want to connect them with other ai tools they may require you to provide the api keys so i hope you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a try it's newly created there's so much you can do if you have the creativity if you want to create stunning images based on just simple prompts on the ideas you have on your head and just go ahead and give it a try it's fantastic to try and I, I i believe you are going to enjoy it because there's so much to to explore and there's good so much going on in the ai world so thank you so much for watching and uh, remember to give the the video a thumbs up uh, that means a lot to me don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more and more videos like this so i'll see you in my next video Bye.